Hey everybody, and welcome back to another book review. Um, so I'm continuing on in a series I started in the last book review, um, the City of Ember series. I was told uh, it was a good series. Um, a couple people saw me reading the first book and they're like, oh, I love that series when I was a kid. So I was like, it must be a good series. So I figured I would just go ahead and keep reading, um, especially since I already have all four books um because they were in my classroom so i've been reading the second book in the series the people of spark again this is by jeanne de Prow. um <clears throat> again not sure if i'm saying her name right but um so we are continuing following the people of ember so at the end of the last book spoiler alert the end of the last book um they all were able to find a way out of the city of Ember because their city was basically dying. And so in this book, they find a new city and they go into the city and they uh, are trying to exist and live with the people that are in the city called Sparks. Um, and it turns into kind of just like a really tense situation with people not really wanting to accept that they have new people that just kind of showed up out of nowhere um and it's a lot of people that showed up out of nowhere um and they suddenly have to take care of them they suddenly have to share their food um and so some tensions start building and they're exacerbated by some actions of some of the lesser characters um so we're continuing to follow dune um the main um male lead and lena the main female lead um and just kind of their experiences as they're going through this um i didn't hate this book <clears throat> but i felt um i think if i again if i was a kid i wouldn't have had as much of a problem with it as i do as an adult because as an adult i just see so many glaring um like rushing through not really explaining stuff um it very much low-key like reads like a movie um and um as we always know movie adaptions of books are never as good as the books and this read like a movie adaption of a book it just moved so fast um and so i, I i'm not as big of a fan of this one as i am of the first one i just feel like there's some plot holes that didn't really get filled and or i feel like there are some characters that were introduced that i'm just like okay but what about that character are we gonna see him again or see her again like how does their story really relate to the rest of it um i just kind of felt like we were throwing characters in to throw characters in um so yeah um in comparison to the first book i would definitely give this like a two out of five <laughs> um it just you know sequels are never as good as the first um with the exception of a couple movie series um and no no different with this book um it just just not really i, I just didn't like it um so yeah so there you have it people of sparks by Jean Duprow. if you guys have read this one let me know um as i was talking to people you know talking to different um, people that are close to my age, they were all like, oh yeah, I remember reading it as a kid. So, um, so they had, you know, some fond memories of the book series. One did say that the next book that I'm about to start does make you really annoyed. Um, so I'm like, okay, I've been prepped and briefed. Um, and if it's anything like the second book, I'm probably going to get very annoyed very quickly. So, um, so yeah, so there you have it. Um, as always, please continue to send me book suggestions, drop book suggestions in the comments, message them to me. Um, really appreciated giving um, a lot of book suggestions. My list is long and full, and we're going to keep doing these book reviews. I, I'm having a lot of fun reading again. Um, I think I've said that before, but I'm having a lot of fun reading again. Um, and also... It's the beginning of holiday season um, when I'm filming this. So um, happy holidays to everyone for all the different holidays that are coming up in the next month. Um, so whatever you celebrate, um, happy holidays to you. And um, hopefully everyone gets a chance to um, find some positive light uh, because the holiday season can be a very dark place for a lot of people um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, and this holiday um, season is very different for me and my family. Um, so keep us in your thoughts and prayers. Um, it's the first holiday without a grandparent 
Um, so it's, um, it's a lot and, uh, we're, we're processing and we're, we're discovering and we're, we're being thankful for having each other. Um, but it's still hard. Um, and I know a lot of other folks are going through some very difficult times as well, whether that be with family or just with themselves. Um, the past couple of years haven't been super great to anybody. Um, and it, this holiday season, I feel like is kind of a culmination of the last couple years. And so, um, so I hope everyone, um, can find some positive moments, um, positive light. Um, if anybody needs an ear to talk to, um, a shoulder to lean on, I will do my best. Um, I'm better at making pie, <laughs> um, but, um, people are welcome to, to reach out, um, because I know that this, this season can get very difficult. So, um, a little truth and a little share at the end, but hopefully everyone has a great holiday season. Send me books and I will see you in the next video. Bye.